Welcome back, guys. This is my road life. What do you guys consider road life? I'm on the road nearly every day of the week and spending most of my time in this 2020 Kia Sorento along with my 2021 Heartland Prowler recreational travel trailer. This is what I call road life. Let's take a closer look at what road life is like inside a Kia Sorento. I took out my build that's in here, but check out how I have to upload my videos. Right now, I have a video uploading for you guys, and I have my hotspot down here. It's an unlimited hotspot from a phone. And I took the build out of the back of the car. But this is what road life is like. I do videos just like this on the road. Charging my battery in the back. Look at that. I can't even read what that says on there. It says a 10. I don't even know what that says on there, but I know it's charging. This is how the back of the car looks. I mean, you guys have seen this before. I have my coffee maker, small portable power station, my DIY huge battery bank. This is what I use to power the fridge and everything that's high powered uh, electrical drawage. I use that small drawage. I can use my power station. I have my pots and pans back there, but this is road life. Oh, look at that bug right there. And this is a little rice. This lifestyle is all about adaptability and transportability. Like how are you gonna transport your goods? You know what I mean? So if I'm buying something really huge, like food or an item that, that I need, I have to make sure that it fits in this vehicle. Food, I don't really have an issue with because I had that refrigerator is a 55 liter it's really really big so i really don't have an issue with that but let's take a closer look at the fridge as you can see i have everything that i can ever want in here i have my water i have milk i have eggs i have salad that i have to eat taco shells i have a lot of things in here that i can utilize there's a lot 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 so i don't have to worry about that if i need something i can just buy it and replenish it since my mic broke, there's gonna be a lot of close up in your face scenery until I can get the next mic that comes in. But I love showing this part of the lake. Being that I have long days outside of the home, outside of the RV, I'm gonna be showing you guys an F40 travel bag, insulated travel bag that you could put your lunch in and hopefully it can give you guys a little easier time when you're going out. I use a lot of different amount of lunch bags when I'm uh, traveling and whatever I'm doing just to make it easier for me. So I'm gonna show you guys this F40 lunch bag a little later, how big it is. I got the large capacity one. Uh, they did send this bag out to me free for uh clear review an unbiased review f40 lunch bag i'm gonna put the whole name of the bag in the description but they did send it to me for free i want to get that out there and i want to show you how durable this bag is and how great you can use it so remember when i tell you guys anything that us youtubers us content creators show you if we show it to you over and over and over again that means it's a good product if you see us use it like maybe once you don't see that many reviews for it then maybe that product is not that well so let's get on with this trip and i'll let you guys see the bag right now it's still in the packaging so I have to take it out of the packaging. I took it out of the box, but it's in some other plastic packaging. And I'm gonna show you guys how that it's looks. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare. But here we go here, the video is finished. I'm gonna redo that thumbnail because I don't like it that much. It doesn't pop out as much as I want it to, but that's it finished. This uh, little hot spot here that I have works really good. And look at the date, Monday, May 6th. We made it here to familiar territory. This is where I do a lot of the videos and a lot of my reviews. I forgot I have my coffee here. 
Mm. Guys, remember to check out our Smalls RV Adventure Shop where we have all of the cups, the apparel, hats, everything that you need for your off-grid adventures. But let me show you guys this bag that I got from um, F40. Really good company. Again, I'm gonna put the link, the full name in the description. I deal with a company called Deer For Me and they sent me this product for a review free of charge. So this is the bag that it came in. It wasn't another box, but this is how they send stuff. It's very well packaged. And I'm gonna take it out and probably tomorrow I'll fill it up. So this is how the bag looks. As you can see, it's very deep. They said it's a 36 can lunch bag. You have an opening here. Again, I'm using one hand and it makes it a little harder, but there's a storage like zipper right here. It has a nice little mesh thing where you can add a little more storage here. Uh, let's see some more of the compartments. You can have some beverages on the side here, which is really cool. You have another small little zip pocket here. And I've seen this in a lot of bags before. I don't know like what you put in there, but there's like a small zipper portion here. I mean, you can add something small if you want in that little small pocket there. And the back, like if you have luggage, you can open this up and uh, you can unzip the bottom. It's another like bag part. But if you unzip that, you can like zip that down onto your luggage, onto the handle, and that would work fine just like that. Or you can zip it and you can use it like that. That's pretty cool. What else you have here? And the front looks like there's another zipper pocket. Look at that, it has a little mesh in there too. That's pretty cool. Let's get this bag all zippered back up and let's show some more parts. So the bag does have these nifty carry straps where you can put it over your shoulder, it's adjustable. Then you can also carry the bag with these straps. Let me hook these up and show you how we so go. So here are the carry straps where you can carry it like this and you can fill a lot in this bag. Let me uh, scroll back a little bit so you can see the size of this bag. And I like it this black color because the inside of my car is like grayish black, it's dark. So I can leave this right in the corner and nobody will see that it's in there. So I love black products. So I really like this bag. You guys gonna see it's dark now because I had to redo the video because of a glitch in the uh, the video feed. But I really love this bag and just the durability aspect of it and the size. It says it's 36 feet, 36 feet. What am I talking about? You can fit 36 cans inside of the bag, but I'm not gonna put 36 cans inside of the bag. I'm gonna put food that would last me over 24 hours so i'm gonna put a lot of water some juice some of my uh granola bars uh just a lot of things my sandwiches and the ziploc bags just a lot of things to get me through and of course i'm gonna put like some ice packs at the bottom or i put a frozen water i love doing that i put frozen water at the bottom of the cooler and that's just to keep the temperature down and the compressor not to work as hard so in the cooler bag i do the same thing i usually put like a little ice bottles on the bottom and then put my food on top and that usually stays good for at least 24 hours even when the ice melts out of the bottle that coal is still going to stay inside the cooler bag because it's insulated and it's so large that i can fit a day or maybe two days of uh food and drinks and everything inside so i can't wait for that this is the bag again, and I want to show you guys how deep it is. Again, we're using the bodega fridge just to show you. This is a full 52 ounce bottle of orange juice. You can lay that flat inside. And again, we're just showing you what you can put in here. This is a dozen of eggs. Here's some of my solid. Here's another half gallon of milk. 
yogurt. Another yogurt. Some water. Tacos. So I'm gonna give you guys a close-up look again. You can pack more stuff in there. Here it is closer. Here's the bag. Tacos, milk, everything that I showed you that I put in, everything is in there. I mean, you can last for days. Let me show you how it looks closed and how you walk with it. So this, how it this is how it's going to look. Again, I'm not putting my whole self in there, but you can transport it just holding it just like this. Nice sturdy bag. And you also have the support handles. So if you wanted to throw it over your shoulder, you can use this portion and throw it over your shoulder. I prefer to carry it just like this. Nice and sturdy. I have it sitting perfectly right beside my bodega fridge. Well, this video took us a couple of days to complete, but we did it. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of clips of me at Yankee Stadium. I wanted to pack that bag and take it into Yankee Stadium, but I remember I was part of a group where we had food and drinks inside, so I really didn't have to take the bag. But um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the whole video that took place over a couple of days. But let me show you guys the clips of me in Yankee Stadium. Thank you guys again for tuning in. And remember, this bag that I'm showing you, that I'm gonna put in the description, and also gonna put the full name up above, is gonna be on our Amazon storefront, and it's also available on Amazon. I'm gonna give you guys a discount code that's gonna be in the description and in a pinned comment in this video to save yourself some money to get this large capacity bag. I mean, that bag really can fit a lot in. If you saw, I was able to put a half a gallon of milk a big thing of orange juice, a dozen of eggs, two bags of solid. I mean, it's, it's really big. And remember also, check out the Smalls RV Adventure Shop where you can get yourself some nice hats, shirts, clothing apparel, anything you need for your camping adventures and to support the channel. If you also want to support the channel, there's a thanks button right below. Anything you give to the channel goes right back into the channel so we can bring you these nice videos of us going on adventures and showing you some of the products that we show you. But that's all I got for you this week. See you later, everybody, and stay tuned for the next video.